Hello everybody and welcome back to Back to the Future the game. This time we're on episode 2, Get Tannen, where we will start where we left off at the end of episode 1, which is where Marty is <laughs> experiencing something he hasn't experienced for a long time. And I'm not too sure he's happy to experience it again. <laughs> anyway, new game. Uh, no, thank you. It took a while, I got scared. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I don't I don't think Marty's too uh thrilled at the moment. And I can't imagine Doc is either. I mean one one gets rescued, the other's in danger. Isn't that the entire cycle of the series? Back to the future, the game. This music, man. Saturday, June 13th, 1931. Episode 2, Get Tannen. Which one? <laughs> what a gorgeous car. But we all knew that already. <laughs> ah! Ah! What's happening? I don't know. Unless uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten. Left for dead. Oh, gosh. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're going to kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born, and neither will you, unless... Oh. <laughs> We've done this all before. When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. <laughs> All right, let's get moving before the police find uh -oh. us. Uh-oh. Freeze! Ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. Well, this is what happens when you operate. Well, this is what happens when you commit a jailbreak. Oh God! Stay hidden, Marty. You're good at sneaking around. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Uh, Doc, you're, you are an accused arsonist. I don't think now is the time to be <laughs> provoking the police. Well. Looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. E a legend speakeasy arsonist, if you don't mind. Doc, what did I- oh, jeez. What did I just say, Doc? I mean, thank you, but... What the heck kind of buggy is that? I can't Stay let him on here. It's a prototype, still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. Or suddenly take off without warning. All right, I guess that's so. I got there it is again. Doc. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. Doc is just gaslighting this officer. <laughs> I mean, you gotta do what you have to do in this case, but... What is it, but... some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. I mean, it is this an is awkward solid situation. American workmanship. Looks like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these huh. things. Oh, I wish. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. Well, that's very gratifying to hear. Right. Not to pause the story or anything, but I'm curious about our inventory. <laughs> this is bad. Yes, it is, Marty. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make I sure it never falls into the wrong oh, hands. <laughs> what Doc just said there. Nah. What do you mean, nah? 
What? Marty. <laughs> I'd like to get a closer look at that gift. I cannot believe he said that to me. Stop! Dad, no! Save your grandfather! I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. This is the most triumphant music of all time, and I'm just here for it. I know I say it every time it comes up, but I am so here for it. What was that? Oh, we, we just did that man. It's no doubt a crisis, a personal crisis. Four fifty-five. Artie's got to be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. That's well, a good thing he's in the one there open he is. window. All I got to do is get to him before. Mr. Callahan. Oh gosh, now you get my name right. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? Uh, because it's none of your business, lady. I'm a... <laughs> My grandpa needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Oh, well then. Carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. <laughs> ah! Uh oh. Ah! Oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? No, Einstein. Stay over there. Einstein. What is it, boy? Go away, boy! No! Crap! <laughs> He's so cute. Poor thing. Einstein! Look at him, he's just waiting patiently. He's the best boy. Is it a squirrel, Liney? No, it's just a chicken. No one you here but play? us chickens. Okay, let's play. Hmm. I am not bonking myself on the head with a stick. But why? What are you up to, Einie? I see no ramifications for that. Want the stick, boy? Want to chase it? I don't think I can throw the stick that far. Yeah, through a window. Let's see. There's Emmett. Go on, boy. Einstein! I don't think Marty has peripheral vision. Bad dog! <laughs> oh, he's such oh, a good on, boy! Einie. Is it a squirrel, Liney? Okay, let's try this again. Go get it, boy! Where are you going, boy? Old Marty's gotta be so confused. Or rather, young Marty? Past Marty. You're killing me, Einie. Past Marty's gotta be very confused. I haven't got time for this, Einie. Come on, oh. boy, heal. We gotta save Doc. Go get her, Einie. This explains a lot. Oh, get this mangy <laughs> animal away from me! Come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes! Einstein, no. <laughs> Way to go, Einie. Now, to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tannen's guys. Uh-oh. Uh hey. Oh. oh, God. Um, <laughs> hey. According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? Uh, many reasons. 
I have to brief him on what to say to the DA. No, that's not a good answer. Are you the legal expert now? Come on, shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Sure, but Arthur's on an even deader deadline. Why are you so suddenly concerned about Arthur? Oh, hell. Oh my god, what the hell is that? That's what? <laughs> I don't know how half-assed he is in saying that now. talking to? <laughs> I'm talking to you. No, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. No, I mean after. Uh, never mind, let's get going. Follow me. What a confusing conversation. I thought I'd never leave. <laughs> At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. All right. Well, let's get in there. You gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. Artie, just promise me you'll stay at the police station until- Artie McFly. Just the guy we're looking uh -oh. for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! Oh, Marty. You're gonna get a serious Artie? head injury uh -huh. at some point. I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Marty hasn't had a concussion with all the times he's been knocked out. Dude, that dude was flying. Did you see him? Looks clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. Gotta speed this up, Marty. Who the hell's Marty, that? How's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah! Nice to see you again, Audie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. I don't need to be rude, <sighs> sir. Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? <laughs> huh? Uh, Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And will one of you slobs start hauling these crates in? We're on it, kid. So far, so good. Huh. Oh, no. Fading out's getting faster. I better get in there quick. All right, before we, before we continue, I'm gonna change something because it was bothering me during that cutscene. <laughs> it was bothering me. I turned these down so my computer picked up frames higher than 12. But I, I need higher shadow quality. I need it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, laptop. Alright, back, back to the task at hand. We need to get in here. Maybe knocking will do. What do you want? Kid sent me to talk to Artie. No, he didn't. Scram. So much for the direct approach. Darn. Well, we'll have to take an indirect approach then. What can we do around here? Flanged sconces. 
snazzy. Contents, one winged goddess. Winged goddess? Locked. Oh, I also think your scrawny frame could fit into, Marty. Contents, one winged goddess. Oops. <laughs> yeah, no, no one knows, it's fine. All right. Hmm. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. It can't be tighter than under Strickland's desk. Get the crease cue ball. Stir the soup cue ball. Clean out the blood stains <laughs> cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster. I'm a freaking butler. Aw. Now which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez. For a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Ow! Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Did you pick up Marty in that crate with his bare hands? Wow. I'm impressed. Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? What? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, uh, Let me see. Uh, hey, Artie! We got a few questions about you and the DA. DA, DA, D, E, D? Mm, you see what I'm working He's out with of here? It. Seems to be catching. Zane, wake up! Oh, sorry, boss. This stupid cold's got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? L kid. Not very creative, is it? <laughs> oh, that's a nice picture. Wake up, sleepyhead. I guess even gangsters can be artistically talented. Alright, well, we gotta help Artie. The best way to do that is to get rid of these three goonies. I, I say goonies this is again! It's gonna be the swellest speakeasy in Hill Valley. I think it's. It's gonna be the only speakeasy in Hill Valley. Thank you. Oh, right. Funny how the competition sort of, uh. died out. Alright, that conversation completed itself before I could even. Anyway. No wonder Artie's so out of it. Alright. Anything else interesting around here? Zane. Uh, He's quite an artist. Let's look over the counter. What do I spy with my little eye? Word games? What? I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our redecorating. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take that. Zane would know something's up. Thank you for being intelligent, Marty. Wow, not bad. Eggs over easy and raisin toasts. <laughs> you. McFly! McFly! <sighs> Great. I hate raisins. Come on, Artie, wake up. You're sleeping your life away. Only raisin cookies Literally. are the worst. Because you always think that they're chocolate chip cookies, and then you bite into them and they're not. And it's extremely disappointing. Come on, Artie. Oh. I gotta get rid of these guys before Artie wakes up. Well, it's like he's been struggling for a while, but... You know, a while isn't... Endlessly. Alright. What's this? Seven, twenty-three, thirty. Hmm. A combination to a lock? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, <laughs> Ugh, stupid cold. L kid. I'm glad Marty can read. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get to that switch while Picasso's in my way. 
got all we can get right now, then. So let's take a look. No! No! I'm gonna assume this is the same thing as it's always been. The keys to the DeLorean. There's not much left in here. Probably just enough to knock out one of them. Well, one's better than none, isn't it? What do I spy with my little eye? I spy a dry guy. Do you know what's down below? Low lives in vermin. Why should I let you in in case I get thirsty? Maybe this will be useful later. Shouldn't kid be back by now? How long did you take the stroll next door and pop a jailbird? Uh -oh. Didn't you hear? Change of plans. Huh? Word on the street is Sagan's working on some kind of jailbreak. What? So the cops are moving him up to the state pen tonight. Kid's gonna head him off at the pass. Why don't people tell me these things? Why didn't anybody tell me these things? How, how do they know about a jailbreak? Who told them? Who put that together? These are questions I want answered. Alright. Uh, uh, Mr. Zane seems to be awfully close to that picture and his and his inks. So maybe. Just maybe. Wake up, sleepyhead. That was that sounded like an awful lot, Marty. Oh, hey guys. I don't feel so. Say, wake up, you lazy bum. It must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. One more on down. Two to go. <laughs> All right, well, let's get those two out of the way. Trixie Trotter, world famous chanteuse. I never heard of her. Well, to be fair, Marty, you weren't really around all for very long in this time period. Less than 24 hours, to be honest. Ow! Nay, nay. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just get that fuse. Oh, he's gone. For now, anyway. Come on, Artie, wake up. You're sleeping, you... What? Kids, okay, ice cream. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was wondering when the music stopped, and then I realized there's no playing the piano anymore. <laughs> that little shrug. Wake up, sleepyhead. That's something new. McDermott's Canadian whiskey. Premium bootleg hooch. Cool. Just hit this button again in a panic. That's a pretty cool system they've got. I wonder how the mechanics of that work. Bam! Right in the kisser. <laughs> Marty, you're okay. Uh, uh, hey, you. Wait, do I know you? Not for about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were going to kill me? <sighs> oh, no. Great. This isn't funny, guys. <laughs> I think Artie's not that big. Perfect timing. Hang on, Grandpa. We've got a pickup to make. Hell yeah, we do. Aw, uh, yes. <laughs> you 
to live. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> ah, what's he doing here? It's a long story. Oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean and came back to get you. Fascinating. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. Good. Please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley and I'm never coming back. No! no. He's gotta hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. Uh... No, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you? Aww. That was a close call. Got a lot of you think you'll be okay? Him. You're not fainting out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kit Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. Oh, we're learning. <laughs> Normal. Well, everything looks okay. But it did an alternate. Are you sure? 85 too, so. See, McFly residents. So, wanna come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but. You've gotta go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, kids to raise, and all that. No, I've gotta go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh. Oh! You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. Yay. See you soon, Doc. Oh, I love happy endings. All right. All right, well, we saved Arthur McFly and saved the McFly's existence for the future. And at this point, it doesn't seem like anything could possibly go wrong. Um, so, let's end on a high note. Um, this is Zoe, Punxy Dawn, saying goodbye, make like a tree, and get out of here. I'm gonna teach him a lesson.